video we will discuss the pathological features in gastropathy and gastritis so the word gastro means stomach and the word pathy means pathology so gastropathy implies that there is damage or irritation in the mucosal lining of stomach why in gastritis itis means inflammation so in gastritis the damage or irritation to the stomach mucosa is severe enough to induce an inflammatory reaction in the walls of stomach so the key difference between gastropathy and gastritis is that in gastritis there is element of inflammation but in gastropathy there is no element in of inflammation there is just an imbalance between the defense mechanisms and aggressive factors and due to this imbalance the walls of stomach are at threat or they are being slightly damaged or irritated but no inflammation has started so this is the difference between gastropathy and gastritis now on gross specimen of either gastropathy or gastritis you see mucosa may be hyperemic or swollen why it is hyperemic or swollen because you know that whenever there is cell injury then due to this cell injury there is the resultant cytotoxic edema or vasogenic edema this edema causes swelling of mucosa and why it is hyperemic you know whenever there is cell injury then in response to cell injury the vascular tissue of the surrounding mucosa starts to react in such a way that it increases the vascularity of the tissue so due to this increase in vascularity there is hyperemia and there is swelling secondly sometimes the damage in gastropathy and gastritis is severe enough to cause hemorrhages from the mucosa so hemorrhagic areas may be visible as dark punctate areas lastly sometimes the damage is so severe that along with hemorrhage there is erosions in the wall of stomach so if erosions and hemorrhages si simultaneously occur we call this condition as acute erosive hemorrhagic gastritis so overall on gross specimen of gastropathy or gastritis you see mucosa may be hyperemic or swollen you may see hemorrhagic areas visible as dark punctate areas or you see erosions plus hemorrhage present simultaneously which is called acute erosive hemorrhagic gastritis now as far as microscopic features are concerned then the microscopic features which are common to gastropathy as well as gastritis are this that the lamina propria shows moderate edema and slight vascular congestion while the mucosa shows hyperplasia of foveolar mucous cells so let's justify this for example if this is the basement membrane and this is the epithelium or mucous cells above the basement membrane and deep to the basement membrane there is lamina propria which is actually a connective tissue now what happens is that you know that lamina propria is composed of rich network of blood vessels so as a reaction to the cell injury these blood vessels become congested and sometimes from these congested blood vessels the fluid or edema leaks out into the lamina propria causing swelling of the lamina propria so you see congestion and swelling in the lamina propria so lamina propria shows moderate edema and slight vascular congestion and what happens in the mucosa for example if this is a, this is the mucosa then the foveolar mucus cells undergo hyperplasia why they undergo hyperplasia this is actually a protective response protective in such a way that these hyperplastic foveolar mucus cells will release more quantity of mucus and this increased quantity of mucus will protect the lining of stomach from the acid rich secretions of the stomach so this will protect the epithelial lining hence as a protective mechanism against the cell damage there is hyperplasia of foveolar mucus cells so in lamina propria you see moderate edema and slight vascular congestion while in mucosa you see hyperplasia of foveolar mucus cells now these two features are common to gastropathy as well as gastritis but in acute gastritis there is an additional finding as itis in acute gastritis means inflammation so in acute gastritis you see acute inflammatory cells so you see neutrophils above basement membrane in contact with epithelial cells in acute gastritis this presence of neutrophils above basement membrane is called active inflammation so please remember that in acute gastritis there is element of active inflammation on neutrophils but in gastropathy no such neutrophils are seen on the microscope in gastropathy only these two features are seen while in gastritis or acute gastritis you see these two features plus you also see the presence of neutrophils above basement membrane that is called active inflammation so this concludes the pathology of gastropathy and gastritis we will discuss the pathological features of another similar disease that is stress related mucosal disease the word stress related mucosal disease implies that in patients who are in, who are in acute physiological or psychological stress undergo damage in the walls of stomach this damage in the walls of mucosa or stomach 
is called stress related mucosal disease so this stress related mucosal disease is visible pathologically as shallow erosions in epithelium or it may, it may be visible as deep lesions that penetrate the depth of mucosa in such case where there is deep lesions that are penetrating the depth of mucosa are present this is called acute ulcers so you either see erosions or you see acute ulcers so let me explain you the difference between these for example this is the basement membrane lining the stomach and you know above the basement membrane there is epithelium and below the basement membrane there is lamina propria which is actually connective tissue now if the pathology is such that if the stress related mucosal disease is such that it only involves the epithelium then we call it as erosions shallow erosions but if the disease is such that it causes damage in the epithelium basement membrane as well as lamina propria which actually means deep in the mucosa we call such lesions as ulcers so the difference between erosions and ulcers is that erosions involve the epithelium only while ulcers involves the whole depth of mucosa so you see shallow erosions in epithelium or you see deep lesions that penetrate the depth of mucosa that are called acute ulcers now there are some pathological features that are specific to these acute ulcers that the acute ulcers in stress related mucosal disease can be present anywhere in the stomach secondly these acute ulcers are small and rounded in size they are rounded and small in size and their size is usually less than 1 cm thirdly in acute ulcers of stress related mucosal disease the base of ulcer is brown to black for example if this is the lining of stomach and there is an ulcer deep ulcer then the base of ulcer will be stained brown to black so base of ulcer is brown to black and one characteristic feature of this acute ulcers is that in acute ulcers scarring is absent why scarring is absent because scarring is a feature of chronic inflammation and chronic damage but in stress related mucosal disease as there is an acute psychological or acute physiological stress so in acute inflammation or acute damage there will be no scarring so this concludes the pathology of stress related mucosal disease